So there are really four things that are going on with the facial aging process. Um, one of them is actually skeletal reabsorption. As you get older, the actual bones in your face start to uh, diminish. And there's not a huge amount we could do about that except keep your dentistry up to date. And if you're losing teeth, make sure that um, you're getting them replaced if at all possible because when you lose the bony support, that can cause aging of the face. That aside, there are three other things that we really can do something about, and I certainly am focused on all three of those things here in my practice to keep people looking fresh and naturally young, the best looking that they can be at the age that they are. Um, those three things are the quality of your skin, the position of the tissues in your face, and the volume of the tissue in your face. So as you get older, your skin goes through changes, the tone, the texture, the um, quality of your skin starts to change. Um, that is something that we can address using good skin care, medical grade skin care, um, laser treatments, sometimes chemical peeling, regular facials, all of these things are things that you could do to really change the quality, texture, tone of your skin, and also maintain it so that it doesn't continue to age. And if you think about these things early enough, you will prevent a lot of the signs that you're seeing in your skin. The other two things kind of work in concert with each other. Actually, all three things work in concert, but the volume and position changes um, can be affected in a number of ways, both surgically and um, non-surgically. So um, the things that we see as we get older is that the position of the tissue starts to change. You start to see sagging. The support structures that keep everything high and elevated start to descend and the elasticity is lost. Um, the other thing that happens is that the fat pockets that are usually held up high in certain areas will also start to descend with, um, with the loss of elasticity and the loss of those support structures. Um, additionally, you will get some fat atrophy in your face. So where it may be coming other places, it's going to be lost in your cheek area. All of those things lend toward hollowing underneath the eyes, an overhang of the nasolabial folds, and excess skin and tissue down in the lower neck and the jowl area. And you may see what we call an obtuse cervicomental angle, meaning that the chin sort of goes from straight from the chin down to the chest instead of being a nice 90 degree angle. Uh, those things that are happening all at once happen in different proportions in different people. So in some people, you may be able to replenish some of the volume in their face and that will get them a magical rejuvenation of their face because really the major crux of their problem was volume loss. Um, in another person, they may have great volume, but everything's just starting to sag and there's a thickness to their neck. And sometimes just cleaning up the angle of that jawline and neck is going to be the thing that really makes them look better and younger, maybe even thinner. Um, so every person is very different and the answer to everybody's problem is not always the same. Sometimes I have people who come in and they say, I want a syringe of Juvederm to look younger, when really they need to have a, a facelift. Um, and if I do one syringe of Juvederm in their face, it's either going to do something that looks abnormal or it's going to just get lost in their face. And I'll be really honest with people because I don't want people coming in here and wasting their money on something that is not going to improve them. Uh, so. Every person that comes in, I like to evaluate them individually and come up with a treatment plan. You know, sometimes it'll be best treatment plan, next best treatment plan that maybe gets, a, you know, a bit of rejuvenation, but uh, for a person who doesn't want to go through a surgical procedure, we can get improvement, managing expectations and those kind of things. But in general, we need to address all three of the components to facial aging in order to really get our best outcome and our most natural outcome. And my goal is to do the thing that is going to make you have the most improvement and have you look as natural as you can. 
rather than pumping a bunch of filler into your face or the expedient thing.